Hello, my name is Chris. In this video, we will talk about Splatoon 3's Splatfest update so far, as well as Splatoon 3's Splatfest history up to this point. First of all, I would like to say thank you to everyone that participated in all the Splatfests. Without you guys, Nintendo would have never brought so many amazing features for Splatfest into the game. And with that, let's take a nose dive into the festive water of time. So we're going to start with our pre-release Splatfest demo. Oh good gravy. The Splatoon 3 Direct introduces the reimagining of Splatfest's festive friendly competitions with three teams instead of two, and they also introduce the initially flawed concept of tricolor to form. Oh great. The theme of the pre-release demo Splatfest was Rock vs. Paper vs. Scissors, and it happened on August 27th, 2022. Honestly, the Nintendo matchmaking servers could not handle the influx of traffic. Com errors were abundant, and the chance of them happening was 10 times as much as throughout my whole time in Splatoon 2, and I barely had any com errors in Splatoon 2, and this had one bar of Wi-Fi. And Splatoon 3 still won Multiplayer Game of the Year. Really? Really? In any case, Team Rock ended up winning that Splatfest. Hooray. Now back to Splatoon 2 until the full game was released on September 9th. Splatoon 2 started to feel awkward to play as players were looking for a multiplayer match of some sort, trying to reach for fresh rank in Splatoon 2 Salmon Run, trying to do squid walls and squid surges that did not exist, and trying to hunt 100% the single player Octo Expansion DLC campaign, all before the release of Splatoon 3. Also, Nintendo announced a double gold rewards bonus for pre ordering in the month of September, and several other physical retailers offered their own unique pre order bonuses for the game. And yet, also, Best Buy really got away early head start on opening up pre orders. What's up with that? Next thing you know, we're past the September 9th release date and there were some balance changes made to Splatfest. Yay? Next, Splatfest up with Gear vs. Grub vs. Fun. Now listen, I was on Team Gear and looking back, I see now that our win was UNDESERVED. Tricolor battles had started to appear less often for the defending team. GG's, I guess. Next up after that was the Grass vs. Fire vs. Water Splatfest to commemorate the release of the latest Pokemon games. And let me tell you, they introduced a lot of awesome changes to Splatfests this time around. All teams can look specifically for tricolor matches after halftime now, but only in solo or in pairs of two. But now you can play as attackers or defenders which introduces the possibility of mirror matches. You can board the Splatfest float for your team in one of three locations. If you win a 100x battle or greater in the first half, or even the main stage in the second half. And you can even take photos to celebrate your amazing major victories with your Splatfest squad. Team Water ended up winning that one. GG's. Afterwards was Spicy versus the Sweet vs. Sour. Team Sweet had a delectable victory in that one. And then there's the Not So Great Chocolate Splatfest. Team Greasy Cocoa Butter. Spots the competition. Of course. Now we're nearing the present. Nessie vs. Aliens vs. Bigfoot. Team Bigfoot may as well have the record for lowest voting percentage in the entire Splatfest history throughout all three games, with a pitiful, pitiful 8.69 voting percentage at the end of the Splatfest. 
Oh, how the mighty Splatfest giant has fallen. However, Team Bigfoot did still have the most pro claw in the Splatfest, but Team Nessie ended up winning because they had the most open claw and the most tricolor claw. On the bright side, Team Alien had the most con shells and was the most popular team. Splatfest teas in Splatoon 3 were fixed to behave like the original Splatfest teas from Splatoon 2. If you win a 10x battle or greater, you will have a chance to have your name appear on the Anarchy Splatcast. That's it for now. No worries if you didn't get to play in a whole lot of these historical Splatfests, because there will be more Splatfests in the future. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and ring the bell if you wish to get notified on all my videos. I'll see you next time. Peace out.